We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Minnesota Twins. Stepping into the box, Joey Wendell. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Ready now, Jose Martinez. He too had three knocks in yesterday's win. Now the three and two pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air but no chance to run it down it's a foul ball Barrios has compiled over 65 innings of work and in that time he's compiled a whip under 1.3 translation he's better than league average in that category and he'll take it onto the bag himself two gone now here in the first two out nobody on and he comes back with a fastball strike three called and the inning is over Riding in, Luis Arias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1. One, one. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3-1. Now a ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd. The 3-2 pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. The next 3-2. Swing and a line drive. And that's out number one. Stepping up to the plate, Jorge Polanco drove in one of his team's two runs in yesterday's game. A 1-1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Big rip at the curveball, but he comes up empty and it's even a two and two. I know he stole a strike right there, but he wants to get that curveball down or he's going to get hurt. Fouled away. Another try at two two. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. The 2 2 one more time. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. In there, a base hit. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. Batting four. The designated hitter. Miguel. Sano. In now, Miguel Sano. Line toward center field. Nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Brandon Lau. Here now the 2 2. Doesn't get the zone, count full now. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. G-Man Choi, the next to hit. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Now the one and one pitch.
in tight there as he's got to turn out of the way of that one. No score here as we play inning number two. Hit weakly back to the mound. On to first, and there were two down. Stepping in, Willie Adamas. He was one for four with a two-bagger in yesterday's game. Slow little roller to third. Scooped up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Last half of the second set to go, and here's Donaldson. The 1-1 one, one home. Taken, strike two. This year against right-handed pitching, Donaldson carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at 2-2. Two and two. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Let to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. So he sets him down swinging. Josh Donaldson sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. And right into the shift. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Bottom of the second here with no score. And he chased it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Garver is retired. Two down now. Standing in, Eddie Rosario will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. A ball and two strikes the count now with the bases empty and two away. Two and two now with two away and the bases empty. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. Full count three and two. Hit sharply on the ground and that finds its way through for a base hit. Throw into second. The first baseman, Matt Kepler. At the plate, Max Kepler. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Ball Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. In prior outings against Charlie Morton, he's 0 for 5. Hard hit ball to second, and that's through into right field for a base hit. The throw to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. To the plate now, Byron Buxton. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. Digging in, Yandy Diaz, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. And it's fouled away. Got him. The slurve that time, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now in the box, Mike Zanino. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And he 
they struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. So two are gone here in the Tampa Bay third inning, and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. Lifted the other way to left center. Long run for the center fielder, and the Rays are in the hit column. The tag, and they'll get him at second, and with that, the side is retired. Blake now, Luisa Reyes. Fastball in there, three and two. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And the Twins have something brewing right away. It's a leadoff double. The batter number 11. Jorge. So now to the plate, Jorge Polanco. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. They're facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Polanco carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. Hopped up, and Lau is there for the catch. There's one gone. Up next for Minnesota, Nelson Cruz. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. On the ground to third. Reined in. And there's out number two. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's Three and one now. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Twins DH. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Back goes Kiermaier. A leap, but it's off his glove. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. The third baseman, number 24. Standing in now, Josh Donaldson. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Hit in the air to center field. Kiermaier on the run. He's got it, a great running play, and that'll retire the side. New inning set to get underway, and standing in is the DH, Joey Wendell. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Pitch on the way. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Great A-B up into this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now Standing in, Jose in. Martinez. Okay. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And this is low. Ball 2. 2 and 1. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. Now at the plate, Austin Meadows. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but... No one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Three and one to him now. And he 
fouls this one off. And another foul ball. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Stepping into the box, Brandon Lau comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The bouncer to the left side. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next to hit is the catcher, Mitch Garver. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Looked like ball four there, but instead it's three and two now. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. The next twin up, Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario. fouled off Garver gets his lead at first nobody out now about a 58 foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here this is a fun guy to watch when he's up there really battles doesn't take any pitches off he's a grinder always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher and he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first down into the box now, Max Kepler looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at-bat. Here's the one-and-one one pitch. Swing, and he popped him up over in foul territory back behind third. Diaz is over now, and he's got it for route number two. So two gone now for the Twins in their half of the fourth, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. From the stretch. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Popped him up. Choi has room in foul territory, and the inning is over. set for the start of the inning and here comes the first baseman G-Man Choi things not looking very good so far in this one but we're still in the middle innings they're down by a couple of runs and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going the last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning fouled away here he comes again one two fastball swung on and missed for the first down so one away here with the bases oh, empty. And up next will be Willie Adamas. Now here it comes. No runs, just one hit. And no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first. And no swing. It's ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Got him to go down swinging there. Willie Adamas becomes the second out here in inning number five. Hit pretty well out to deep left field. Back goes Rosario, and just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Stepping in now, Mike Zanino. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Some pitchers fall into the trap of getting in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You need to make a quality pitch. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Yeah. 
Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And set to go is the second baseman, Luis Arias. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Martinez is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Digging in the switch hitter, Jorge Polanco. He struck out and popped out in his two previous trips. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Kiermaier's got a read on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. And this is popped fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. The bouncer to the left side. He's got it. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started and striding forward the designated hitter Joey Wendell. The one one home. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit. So we'll see if they have something in the works here with the leadoff hitter aboard and a guy that can really handle the bat in the number two spot. Okay. At the plate, Jose Martinez. Three and one. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Now ready for another Blake shot Cooper. now. Austin Meadows. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Austin Meadows becomes the first out of the inning. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the move is Rosario. He makes the catch and tagging is the runner from second. And he'll take those extra 90 feet. So put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. Striding into the box. G-Man Choi. Here now the 2-2. Hot shot on the ground is short. Scooped up and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Diego Castillo enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 53. Diego. Into the box, Miguel Sano. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. The last at bat, Manny D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Swung on and missed. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Coming to the plate now, Josh Donaldson. He flew out in his last at-bat. Into the windup, here's the 2-1 and one pitch. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's 3-1 and one now. Holds off on the nope. slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Digging in, Mitch Garver. It was a walk in his last trip. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. 
So coming to the plate, Eddie Rosario. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. And he takes the ball three, so it's a full count now. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Another full count pitch home. Line drive to center field. Kiermeyer is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Seventh inning ready to roll. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Willie Adamas. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. A runner at first with no outs here. That's in there. And it'll run the count to full three and two. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked the guy up with it. Hit the other way out toward right field. There to take it is Cruz, and that's the first down. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. That misses, and we're even at two and two. No runs, three hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And it's fouled away. Now a move over to first, and he'll get back in safely. The 2 2 one more time. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Tyler Clifford will come out and take the ball oh, here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. Kevin, Kevin Kiermeyer will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. One and one. Here it comes. Swinging a soft liner, and this will be put away easily for the end. Colin Poche gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Max Kepler. Looks at one in there, one and two. Fastball well outside. Here now the two two. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. And there's one away. The plate, Byron Buxton. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Bases are empty, one man out. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Now 
that's popped up. Diaz is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Luis Arias. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Two and one now to the Twins leadoff man. All even now, two and two. Two out, nobody on. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And that'll get down for a two out single. In now, Jorge Polanco. Hit hard down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. And he fouls this one off. Now another 1-2. Grounded to first. Right to him. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Ready to begin the eighth, and digging in next will be Joey Wendell. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Nope. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Now here's the pitch. Okay, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. At the plate now, Jose Martinez. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Fly ball to straightaway left. Rosario is over toward the line a bit as he takes it for the first out. Runner at second, one away. Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. The 1-1 is taken for ball two. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And that misses for ball four. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, now Brandon Lau. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive with two guys already on pretty good shot he's going to get a challenge pitch right here good time to call the change as he swings and misses for strike two and he'll find a way to get a piece of that one to stay alive the 2-2 two -two one more time Spiking him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. 
high and deep to right center. Runner tags from second as the catch is made here shy of the track. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Trevor May trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. G-Man Choi will be the first one to greet him now as he'll do so with runners at the corners and two out in the inning. One and one, here it is. Runners at the corners, two men out. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Another 1-2 delivery. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Oliver Drake is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 47. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Nelson Cruz. Hit hard back up the middle. Reined in. And there's one down now. So here's the cleanup hitter, Miguel Sano. He homered back in the third inning in this one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. That's a ball two. Fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Just hung in there on that one. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Lined is short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. In now, Josh Donaldson. It was a walk in his last trip. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Fouled away. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Taylor Rogers comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Up next for the Rays, Willie Adamas. It was a walk in his last trip. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Ball taken there. Two and one now. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is Rosario. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Coming to the plate now, Yandy Diaz is working on a one for three thus far. Sharp ground ball to third. Donaldson's there. Throw to first will be in time, and the Rays are now down to their final out. Here now is Mike Zanino, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. 
someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Three and two now. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Ground ball foul down the left side. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the tenth pitch of this at-bat. Good battle. Count remains full. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. One strike from a shutout. Here it comes. Hit back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Now that designated hitter, Joey. So now to the plate, Joey Wendell. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throw on to first here is going to do it. And the Twins have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The Twins took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jose Barrios earns win number four on the season. Taylor Rogers earns the save out of the bullpen, his 15th of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Twins. Two runs, six hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Rays, no runs, five hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 22 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.